my baby Got me staring at you So I'm crazy Won't you bend that back for me We won't stop Got your feet both locked You get to flop with me I can take you down for a ride I take you around my life Jaywalking, crosswalking, lip locking But you, I know it, you know it It's your favorite blue eyed, green eyed, black girl, Chonu. Illusionida, aka ENF2. And, ore manamida, it has been a while and prepared for an unedited, basically vlog, blab type doohickey that I'm going to do for you. Uh, it's been also a long time since you've actually seen my room and, you know, been amongst my posters. Um,. And yeah, if you're trying to figure out what sense this makes, because there's the eight of them up here, that makes sense to me. And it's a whole calendar, so I needed the four of these as well. It's a part of their album. Speaking of albums, they're coming out with a full one. Okay, so you guys, I just wanted to, this vlog blab thing is basically just me explaining how my day went and how it was a roller coaster. Today is Wednesday on the calendar but it is technically my work Monday I start my weeks on a Wednesday and end them on a Sunday my weekend is Monday and Tuesday technically that's for me not for everyone else I live in America America most people that work at companies I, I should say or uh, facilities that are professional I uh, usually have the weekends off but since I work in the tourism industry where the most busiest days are the weekends I have to work the weekend so my weekend is technically a Monday and a Tuesday anywho today is my Monday it being a Wednesday uh, September 18th 2019 I mentally prepared myself for my Monday uh, in Korea there's a thing called a uh, Monday blues and in America manic Monday basically a case of the Mondays where as you know it's the start of your week either you're groggy and not ready for it or or not ready for it um, anticipating anxious about it or you just don't want to go through it because adulting is hard <laughs> Anywho, so I was mentally preparing for the day. I was trying to keep all my positive energy up. I have had a cold where I cough, sneeze, runny nose. It's very kind of disgusting. For the last week, quite literally, last Wednesday is when the symptoms started. And this is back on another Wednesday and still have the symptoms. However, they are very much weak. Uh, I could have actually probably completely ended this cold this weekend but I was just way too lazy like the cold kind of made me lazy but that's also an excuse whatever any who's roller coaster of a, a Wednesday I was trying to have positive thoughts and vibes about this day I was like I'm gonna get on this bus and everything's gonna be all right I'm gonna, I'm gonna be on time for work co-worker even greeted me with a hello through my text um hello I'm at work already you don't have to stress yourself out about getting here on time. Everything is okay when you get when you arrive. Everything will look lovely when you arrive. I am like okay, good vibes, everybody. My group chat is all like you know positive vibes, kind of quiet actually, but positive vibes. Like there's no negativity. No one's going through mayhem and chaos. It's a good Wednesday. I'm I'm happy, happy enough. I didn't know I was gonna get even more happy. Like quite literally. <laughs> so on the bus getting to my destination my destination is my job one of the omnis uh m only i don't i don't m mm, only doesn't sound like a cute 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 name uh one of the omnis uh post oh no no she t she messages saying something about 80s these monsacras and quite literally yesterday 
no more than 18 hours prior to that message. I said, we all are anticipating this comeback, but I'm kind of going to need a Pirate King Songwa to come back. Basically, I just want his black hair. I want the black hair Songwa back in life. I wasn't really there for Pirate King. I kind of came in right before Hala Hala. But I fell in love with them like beginning of 2019, as some of you have already heard from either podcast, YouTube, or um, my Instagram. I fell in love with them at the beginning of the year and have become super obsessed with them. Uh, went to their concert, saw them at KCON, and wanted to see them in freaking Korea, but I spent around three times, called their name, because they told us to call their name and they would be there, but they were not there. But it's okay, because I saw them at their concert as well as saw them at KCON. But anywho, um, so I literally said 18 hours prior to, I wanted to see Black Hair Sungwa back in my life because he's my bias. If you don't know, he's my bias. I technically, not technically, I have verbally said repeatedly, you can ask the group chat, that he is my husband and that at the concert when I said Saranghe, or rather Saranghyo, I said Saranghyo because I'm polite until I get better at Korean. Um, I said, Sarang heyo, as I high touched him, and he said, me too. Now you're gonna take it however you want. Like he, of course, loves himself or whatever. I'm gonna take it as we just got married right there at that high touch, and that's the end of that story. So, um, 18 hours prior, I said, I want black haired Sungwa back. They've already been not posting current pictures of themselves, basically, T that's basically in our heads. ATs teasing us about their hair colors like their hair colors are gonna be different and it's been a few months and they haven't really been on social media if they have been on social media they've been covering their heads however Chungho Makne has not been covering his head or rather the only live stream they have done in the last few months he didn't have his head covered he had black hair we all saw that I was happy to see it. I was shocked, shooketh, happy though. Um, and I was really happy. I was like, Jungho, Jungho, with your black hair, let's do this, sir. Um, so this morning, she, uh, only post about their uh, comeback, saying something about this teaser and this comeback I can't deal. Then she posts the pictures. It's three. Uh, it's a three-part uh, collage of the poster, which is all of them in a um, landscape isk, uh, basically kind of like this, but it's all of their well, all of their faces basically together, and they have these like uh, mask, but not really mask, like sheer veils over their faces, kind of like uh gypsies is that a gypsy thing uh quote please correct me if i'm incorrect uh, i believe it's a gypsy thing but it's a sheer so you can see like the shape of their faces you can even see some of their lips very poignantly through them and i guess since i was really into like hala hala probably is my favorite uh error for them when they were wearing those face masks the actual black face mask um allergy mask whatever you want to call them um I used to stare at, and I still kind of still do stare at their faces, trying to see who is who, and I can tell just by looking at their eyes. So looking at that, where you can't really see their full faces, I kind of knew almost instantly who was who. Kind of was shook at at uh, Hong Jung uh, with how his hair was. Like I kind of understood with the like freaking scratches and the, the, the indentions in his eyebrow like that looks like leader nim i'm pretty sure that's leader nim and uh seeing everybody freaking blew my mind uh got to work uh it kind of started off right like the deliveries because wednesdays are also delivery days so the deliveries didn't come in yet they were basically everything was waiting for me but some things did go wrong and some things kind of made me agitated and irritated, but I just kept going back to thinking about how my Songwa looked. And oh my goodness, like I said, I wanted black haired Songwa back, and they gave me that. 
and like I was expecting like the coiffed, you know, undercut, but with like the nice princely uh, updo. But they gave me better, and I'm just gonna need you guys to like either click the link in the description box down below or find it somewhere, search it. AT's comeback. In fact, I quite literally searched it at work today. AT's comeback on my PC at work, and it literally popped up that picture, the 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 eight of them. <sighs> that, mm. and. <sighs> Y'all just gotta look at it. This is fangirl moments, like quite literally, quite literally. All, all throughout the day, I was hyper and excited and laughing to myself. And of course, my con my coworkers possibly think that I am psychotic, but I am really just obsessed with K-pop and kind of really obsessed with ATs. But don't tell them that. You don't. Have, you don't have to tell. You don't have to tell them that. <laughs> you don't have to tell the kids that that I don't think of them as kids, that this is kind of, mm, this Nuna, this Nuna has issues, but she's also so, so, so much in love that she just wants to protect them and feed them and, but not cook for them, not, mm, I will, I will deliver food, I will make sure you, I will make sure you eat well, but, I, <laughs> but, um, Anywho's, I just wanted to share this moment with you guys because this has been a while since I've shared and one of the reasons I haven't shared is because I Do y'all know how long it took me to get this set up to set up? It ain't even a setup <laughs> Anywho's, this is your favorite K-pop K-World fandom train. Nope. She's not a trainee no more mm -mm. This girl then went to to Korea, so she's not a trainee anymore. This is your favorite K-pop K-World official rookie itches i've debuted <laughs> they debuted in their super rookies and i feel like i've officially debuted in this world and my voice now sounds really off because this cold that i am suffering with it, it's gonna be all right I'm, I'm gonna get over it as soon as i actually take more medicine i have it with me i'm gonna i'm gonna take it after i get off this video and it was his favorite k-pop k-world fandom rookie Today is another day to do better. I'll do better. You do better. So I realized I didn't tell you that everyone else shooketh me. Uh, I wanted to say that uh, my wrecker looked extremely scrumptious as well. Like freaking red hair minky. Like what? I'm going to just need y'all to go actually look at this photo. Go search it up. AT's comeback. That's all you have to search up right now. I, as far as I know, that's that's pretty much gonna give you that. Uh, freaking, they look so good and like I thought that Pirate King or freaking uh, Holla Holla. Uh, no, it's not not Holla Holla. Uh, Pirate King or freaking From or basically every Black Sungwa was superior Sungwa. This is a whole nother level. Like, I've been gifted with the best gift in the world. This is not even my birthday. This is about to be AT's anniversary. You guys, they haven't even been a year yet. And they're about to come with a full album. Only said that. And I was like, yeah, because they're AT's. They're super rookies. Of course, they're going to come with a whole full album. But yeah. I, <laughs> you guys, go look. Go look. Just go look.